My name is Joshua Shaw. I own Shaw Hot Rods in Cincinnati, Ohio. I restore antique sprint cars. I build sprint cars from scratch. I build traditional hot rods. I design hot rods. I do custom pinstriping and custom paintwork and welding and fabricating. I've used a lot of welders, big names in the industry. I've worked at a lot of different shops and luckily got to experience a lot of different types of welding. And the 3-in-1 machine was excellent. It was very smooth. We plugged it in and set it up for MIG welding. And I consulted the chart and just set it up with the chart recommended and started laying beads immediately. I was very happy with the 3-in-1 machine. Very few minor adjustments to my satisfaction of what I'm used to, I know I can grab that MIG weld and I can MIG something together and send it out there and it's going to hold and it's going to look good. The other side of that is I can build welds up and I can shape with it and become an artist with it and really make stuff pretty. It's not quite what the machine might be made for, but it's what I need and that one did it immediately. Like the 3-in-1, I can speed the wire up and really lay some wire and build up a weld and there's no reason for that other than I need that there to shape this piece. I've used welders where I can feel the wire come through the handle. Um, I can feel the spool through the handle because when you're welding, you're concentrating on everything you're feeling and I can feel things. It's like a race car. You feel the chassis, you feel it in the seat of your pants, you know stuff's changing. And with the 301, I didn't get that. It was just a clean weld all the time. It was very easy to understand the adjustments. The way the dials were set up high on the machine, it was instantaneous. I knew right where I was at, and I was confident that uh, I knew what kind of beat I was going to let. Other ones want to bounce back. Sometimes they, the wire wants to stick, and you try to adjust for that and everything, but I found a 3-in-1 machine. I didn't have to adjust around for it. It was there. A lot of times with these hot rods and the rat rod side of things, you have to weld on 90 year, 80, 90 year old rusty metal. Um, I've chopped the tops on cars that are from South Dakota that are solid rust. And you go to weld on this thing and you're getting ready to weld on it and you can see light through it. And you're like, okay, here we go, this is the test. With the 3 in 1 machine, those spots, when they're crisp and clean, that helps me because I can spot it and I know it hits good and clean and leaves a dot, leaves the weld I need, and I can move on and I'm not sitting there waiting for that spot to cool down and refill it, and I'm not fumbling around. I'm just going and getting the job done, and it's a clean weld on something that really shouldn't be able to be welded. This thing works good, by the way. Good. I knew that. This was the first time that I used a lift TIG arc system, and I really liked it a lot. It took me just a few seconds to get used to. I'm used to getting the tungsten close, the arc jumping over to the piece. With this system, I can touch it right where I want to start, hit the button, roll out, and the bead starts exactly where I was just at, right where the tungsten is. Sometimes with other systems, when I start to weld, it jumps over to a corner where I'm not really trying to make my bead lay. Now that I've used it, I really like it and look forward to using it some more.